Hi, Joanne Wilson here, and right now I want to walk you through how to set up the sidebar for your blog page and for the individual post pages. As we are using the Astra theme with Elementor, and I have currently set the default for the for all my pages to have no sidebar for uh, posts or any pages. Um, but I think that for the posts, I would like to go ahead and add a sidebar. To do that, you would go to Appearance and Customize. Once the Customizer window opens, it's taken a couple minutes or seconds, we'll go to Layout and sidebar. Now, I still don't want a sidebar on my pages, but I'm going to go ahead and add a sidebar to the right and a, on my blog posts and a sidebar to the right on the blog post archives. Once you've set the sidebar, you click publish. Go back to my page here for an individual post. And now you'll see the sidebar is on the right. I like that layout better for posts. And now let's close the customizer. If you want to add widgets to this area, then we will go to Appearance and Widgets. We could access the widgets through the customizer. I just find it a lot easier myself to go directly to the widgets page instead of through the customizer. Here is the area where you would change the main sidebar. As you can see, it's got search and editor, recent comments, archives, um, easy Facebook like box. It's not set up yet, but that's where it would go in here. And I'm going to go ahead and set this up. So you may say something like, like us on Facebook. I'm just going to add the Facebook um, URL right now. But in this URL, you would add your Facebook page. Oh, actually, I better put find my Facebook page. Hang on just a second. Okay, let me put the full URL of my Facebook page. Uh, you put in a width. Um, we might as well put in, let's put in three, I'm sorry, uh, 275. A height, let's try 400. You have these different options, uh, show friends' faces, hide the cover photo if you don't like that, but I like to use that. And adapt to plugin container, which means it'll be responsive. Perhaps we'll try this in 300 and see what happens. And save that. Let's see what that looks like at the other end. Let's refresh the page. And there's the Facebook like box. That makes it a quick link. People are used to seeing the Facebook like box there. All right, I'm going to close that. If you don't want to have comments a section you would just drag it off this area right here is the site origin editor i just happen to have in there and there's nothing in it at the moment you could add any kind of information uh, that you'd like you could give it a title so contact us and i may add our see what happens when we add the contact form. We're going to add our contact form and let's see what happens. Anytime you make a change to one of these widget areas, you need to make sure you click save. Okay, I'm going to close that. Let's see what it looks like here. Ah. There we go. We have our form right in our sidebar, which makes it really easy 
now for people to contact us and leave us a message. They don't have to go to our contact page. So that's looking pretty good. Uh, I don't look, care for the archives, so I'm going to drag that off of here. We'll go ahead and leave the search. That's a good feature to have. If there's anything else we wanted to add, maybe we wanted to add an image, we could we would take this and let add it right there. I'm not going to add a title. I'm just going to pick an image from my image library once it loads. Now we'll try that one. Oh, maybe this one. That's a nice one. Okay, we'll save that. Now let's see how this our sidebar is looking. There we go. We have a little image in there now. So that's about all I'd want. We don't want it to get too long. Lots of times you have these short blog posts and the sidebar goes down forever. In the same way that you would edit the widgets in the sidebar area, you can edit the widget areas along the bottom in the footer area. In our Astra theme, those widgets are contained in footer widget area one, two, three, and four. These two other areas, I believe, would be stationed right above this air, this widget, uh, the footer area, but we're not using those areas, so that's nothing we need to uh, look at right now. And in the same way you edited these sidebar widgets, you would do the same thing down here. And that's an introduction to our widget areas and a simple quick video on how you would access those areas and edit them. If you wanted to access those areas through the customizer, you just go to the customize under appearances. And if you weren't sure where to find those widget areas in your panel here, which it's pretty obvious right through here where those widgets are, there's little pencil icons and it would open right up to that exact widget area. And make that would make it real easy to access those areas and you could add your information that way. I have a harder time working in these smaller screens, so I do like to open it up. And that's our tutorial for today. Thank you.